the starting lineup for the visiting Orlando Magic. At shooting guard, Jalen Suggs. At center, Robin Lopez. At guard, Cole Anthony. At small forward, Franz Wagner. At forward, Wendell Carter Jr. The head coach of the visiting team is Jamal Mosley. This is Brian Anderson. Hey, Allie. Thanks, B.A. Well, the NBA's play-in tournament is exciting. It's a way to keep teams in the mix, but it's had its share of critics. Luka Doncic said, quote, I don't understand it. You play all season to get into the playoffs. Then maybe you lose two in a row and you're out. I don't see the point. Guys? Yeah, Allie, team's definitely motivated to stay in the top six. Good stuff there. Thank you. And here in October, we have a little indication of what may be coming in the East. You look at the Magic, early on, they've got the third best record. And of course, New York behind two games. Well, right now, for New York, they're right there at the bottom of the standings. You really have to wonder how their locker room mood has changed as their struggles have continued. Yeah, and if you look ahead to this offseason, which the front office is probably already doing, they should. That toxic environment you mentioned will make this team a very hard sell to free agents out there. A look at the opening lineup for the Orlando Magic. We've got Suggs. Wendell Carter is out go. there with Wagner. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Anthony in at the one. And for the Knicks, Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. Derrick Rose is out there with Evan Fournier. And it's Robinson in at center, locking down the middle. And a couple of teams coming out scorching hot this season, Grant. How far can a hot start carry a team? Well, well, some teams can ride a strong start throughout the whole season. I mean, it's just a huge mental boost for a team, particularly early on. Now here's Barrett. Orlando foul. Carlos Bogdan. That's his first personal. First team foul. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. Here's Suggs. Fournier covering. Pass to Lopez. The Knicks pull it in. 
Their last meeting was in Orlando, where they were unable to fight off the magic. Last time, free throw shooting was their kryptonite. Just could not keep pace. Now here's Rose. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Magic in Orlando. Rebounded by Lopez. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Inside, here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. You love the show of force from Carter Jr. He's not messing around when he gets the ball down there. Rose, left side. Over Anthony. Rose can't connect. The Magic have gone one of three from the floor. And stolen by Barrett. Pass to Rose. Randall outside. Clock at six. Out to Rose. Over Anthony. That one rolls around and rims out. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. One thing about Derrick Rose that's never changed over the years, Grant, is his ability to come through in the clutch. When a big basket is needed, he's the guy you want on the court. Well, how many times have we seen it? End of game situation, Rose in an isolation set. And even against a double team, he finds a way to shake free and get the bucket. As dependable as it gets when the pressure's on. Now here's Fournier. There's the triple. The rebound by Carter. Pass to Anthony. Robinson against Lopez. And here's Wagner. Over Fournier. And it's Wagner missing. The Knicks have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Randall a screen on Anthony. Here's Fournier. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Wendell Carter. Well, that was clearly a foul. Evan Fournier at the line. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. No good on the second free throw. Orlando leading. Here's Anthony. Coming off a terrific game against New York. Wagner with it. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Franz Wagner. One shot. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. And here is Barrett. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Pass to Fournier. Here's Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. That's Robinson dominating on the inside. They capture the board and go right back up. Lopez, the screen on Fournier. Here's Suggs. 
Robinson with the block. Randall pass to Rose. Outside Barrett. Here's Randall. Rose outside. Randall on the screen. Pass to Barrett. From deep three-point range. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Wagner for three. Fournier with a rebound. Now here's Rose. And he's going for the lob. And a big finish by Robinson. Yeah, throw it anywhere you want. Mitchell Robinson knows what to do. Here's Suggs. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. That shot missing. New York goes the other way with it. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing their last matchup with Orlando. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. And you cannot afford to do that when you're in an opponent's building. You got to knock down free throws. That costs them. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Who wants a t-shirt? Your Knicks City Dancer. Last season, the best when it comes to shot blocking. Second, Nerlens Noel. It's obvious that he completely dedicated himself to protecting the rim, doing everything he could to get his hands on as many shots as possible. New York trailing. Now quickly, in his last outing, eight points for him. Fades. Oh, rejected by Isaac. And he stays with it. And the Knicks miss again. Magic shooting an unremarkable 30% in the first. Bolts against Walker. Isaac outside. Pass to Bamba. Back to Isaac. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Fultz. And Toppin pulls it down. And here's New York now. Trailing by two. I'll tell you what, you have to be excited about Jonathan Isaac. Whenever he's on the floor, he makes an impact on both ends of the court. It's quickly with a drive. Over Harris. Another shot. And a nice bucket inside from Noel. Wow. He really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. Bolts against Walker. Here's Bamba. 
the Knicks pull it in. You know, the main thing for Jonathan Isaac is his health. Seems like whenever he gets healthy, he ends up getting hurt again. The guy's been through a lot. He's had to battle through a number of injuries. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously frustrating for him, I'm sure. But he's still got youth on his side. So here's hoping he can remain healthy and reach his potential. Here's Orlando. Outside Fultz. On the take. And that one is stuffed right through. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And I love how shifty of a player he is. Walker knows a thing or two about drawing contact. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And a lot's changed for Kimball Walker. Bought out over the summer, and of course this was after he was sent out to Oklahoma City with the Thunder. Now Kimba gave up some cash in that buyout, but he feels like he's in a great fit with the Knicks to help them make another run. Gibson's checked in for Noel. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And when you talk to folks around the league, no one has a bad word to say about Walker. He's just a good guy, a loyal guy. Now here's Fultz. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. And good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And, of course, Kimba's won the NBA Sportsmanship Award multiple times. Yeah, he's such a glue guy. I mean, he brings people together. He's a guy who improves the culture of your team. Harris against Quickly. Two minutes. There's a screen by Toppin. Two minutes. And it's Quickly with a miss. Orlando leading. Isaac finds Fultz. Now Ross. Green by Bamba. Six to shoot. The baseline J is on the way. Ross can't get it to go. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Walker. And here is Burks. Walker, a screen on Ross. Burks for three. It's hauled in by Isaac. And the Magic shooting only 31% to get this game underway. Ross with it. Here's Isaac. Walker covering. Isaac against Walker. Now here's Ross. The D's right on him. And the Magic again can't hit. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Quickly outside. Pass to Gibson. Outside Walker. Screen by Gibson. Oh, they need this! Walker's shot is off. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Harris passes to Isaac. Isaac with a screen on Burks. A shot from the mid-range. No good. A bit long that time. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Now here's Walker. Really struggled in the loss against Orlando. Four three. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so the first quarter is in the books. Seven. It's the Magic. They're up by four. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter.
And the Knicks, such a feel-good story. You got to give Coach Tom Thibodeau a lot of credit. Julius Randle certainly does. He has us all bought in. You can't really ask for more than that. A coach who's going to lead us in and have everybody buy in, and we're seeing the results. We're seeing the fruits of our labor. And they certainly are. And the New York faithful delighted to witness meaningful games once again. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And for the Magic guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. Fournier the two, Barrett at the small forward. Nerland's Noel out there with Julius Randle. And it's Burks in at the point. That's the five for New York right now. And it's blocked by Noel. Burks goes in. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Well, Orlando shooting a low 26% from the field. Anthony against Burks. Back to Hampton. And Grant, you played almost two decades in the league. What do you think some of the biggest highlights in your career were? Really just, you know, playing on some great teams with great players, uh, the relationships, the experiences. I didn't win an NBA championship, uh, but I am more than blessed with having an incredible 19-year career. Barrett against Anthony. To the paint. The jump hook. And another miss by Orlando. The Knicks have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Burks goes in. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Burks has got five points. The Magic have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Anthony against Burks. And it's stolen by Noel. To the middle. Here's Barrett. Soft touch off the glass. Now it's a three-point New York lead. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for New York. Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. On top of all that, they've done a good job of making life difficult for the opposing shooters. They've had hands up and have contested a lot of shots. Look at the blocks. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Burks with it. Okiki's there. Burks passes to Barrett. Over Wagner. Barrett can't hit. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession. If they can get it, he doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Now here's Anthony. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Hampton. Noel covering. Noel in there to intimidate and does so there. Burks passes to Randall. Outside Fournier. Back to Randall. Down low. Here's Barrett. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his second personal. Last First year from R.J. Barrett, B.A., how the game is already RJ starting Barrett to slow down for the him. Line. And Barrett flashing potential as a stopper, Brent. That's a great sign. I mean, he can be out there on Shoot the floor, two. and you can take confidence in the fact that on nights, if he doesn't have it going offensively, he'll still dig in on D. First free throw is good. Barrett just one of those guys who you can see the competitive drive that he has. He's a hungry player. He's young. And there's no doubt he's going to get better. Robinson, he's checked in for New York. Rose comes in for Burks. Lopez, he's checked in for Orlando. Suggs comes in for Anthony. And Barrett drops them both. One thing you know when defending Barrett, he wants to get to the rim every chance he can. Pass to Hampton. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's 
That's on Evan Fournier. You know, Grant, on his attacks to the basket, Barrett is looking for points, a foul, or both. Oftentimes, initiating the contact, too. As he gets more established in the league, he'll get more calls to go his way. One falls for him. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. The Knicks with the lead. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Denied. He sends it right off the glass. Count it. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Out to Rose. And he drives in. And he's now one for four after that one. And that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. 16. Carter, a screen on Rose. Here's Suggs. Robinson with the block. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. And there's Barrett on the assist from Rose. And now a four-point New York lead. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. And there's the drive. Carter with it. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against New York. And another key for them was his rebound. Just a great effort. And here's New York now. They're on a 13-5 run. Outside Barrett. Screen by Robinson. Step back shot. And it's New York with another. RJ is going to improve year after year on the skill to recognize plays and stay a step ahead of the D. Here's Suggs. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Hampton from behind the arc. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got five rebounds tonight. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Steps back and fires. Rose can't connect. Orlando trailing here. Here's Hampton. Pass to Suggs. Carter, a screen on Rose. And the three-pointer goes. Suggs has gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Let's see who's the loudest. All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on and get loud for your next city dancer.
checked in for Noel. Quickly comes in for Fournier. And it's Kemba Walker in for Rose. So for the Magic. For New York, they've gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Walker against Fultz. Robinson a screen on Fultz. 11 feet out. And a big finish by Robinson. And that's a strength of Mitchell Robinson's game. A force in the paint. Orlando's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Up top, Fultz. Walker covering. Shot is good by Isaac. Now there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Now here's Walker. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Toppin. And it's New York scoring again. And we may have an injury here. That does not look good. Uh, and hopefully it's not as bad as it looks. That would be a big blow for them. Well, looking at his face right there, you can tell he's in a lot of pain, and there's a lot of trepidation right now on that team's sideline. Gibson's checked in for Robinson. New York Knicks. Tosh Gibson. And here's Fultz. Outside Ross. From 11 feet away, the shot won't fall. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Outside Barrett. Oh, stolen by Fultz. And the Magic pushing it up now. And here they go. Bamba, that's good. Pretty good instincts right there from Harris. He sees the defense moving, and then he just spotted the open guy. Pass to Toppin. Back to Barrett. Rebound by the Magic. Isaac's got four rebounds now. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Now here's Walker. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Oh, stolen by Fultz. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Barrett against Ross. Pass to Isaac. Ross with it. Shot clock at five. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. There's always been a lot of talk about Markel Fultz's shooting, but Grant, one sign as to the strides he's made in his first few years in the league was the upward trend in his free throw shooting. And when you see that kind of improvement, B.A., it speaks to the work he's put in. You don't become a great free throw shooter by accident. It takes time and effort, and Fultz put in plenty of both. Now here's Ross. Outside Fultz. 59 seconds left in the first half. Isaac's shot is off. The Knicks have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. 8 for 16. Walker against Fultz. Quickly from outside. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Fultz. And a nice finish on the layup. Fultz has got his second basket. They have no answer defensively inside. Pass to Toppin. Outside Walker. There's 14 seconds left in the first half of this game.
This one for three. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Second ooh, ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. the line, he'll shoot three. Three shots. Three shots. Free throw good. Walker. The Magic making a switch here. Good on the second one. And he nails the third. Just four seconds left in the first half of this one. That shot off. R.J. Barrett, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the New York Knicks. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. All right, thanks. Tibbs, what would you think about the way this team defended in the first half? We're not bad, but we have to sustain it for the entire game. They put a lot of pressure on you. We got to make sure we're containing their dribble penetration, and then we got to react on challenge shots. The expectations are high for the second half. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And for that game against the 76ers, usually when you're playing a team like that above you, you get jazzed up. I expect we'll see their best effort. We'll get to see how much they've grown and how much growing they have left to do. Now let's talk about this matchup. So far, a good start for the New York Knicks. They found a slight edge on the boards, and they've done it with nothing but raw determination. I mean, look, they've got talent, but the passion is there, and that separates these guys. They're simply refusing to give up possessions. And that'll do it for the halftime show. Shaq, what grade do you give our show? Uh, Ernie, perfection. My highest grade yet, a check plus. Is that how you always got graded, Shaq? Well, that and A plus honor roll. Don't tell nobody how smart I am. I do have four degrees. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. The Knicks with the lead. So for Orlando right now, Suggs is out there with Anthony. Then there's Robin Lopez, then it's Wendell Carter, and it's Hogner in at the three. That's his first personal, first team foul. Outside Barrett. Shot clock at six. There's a screen by Toppin. Here's Rose. It's hauled in by the Magic. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Here's Suggs. There's the drive. Out to Anthony. Fires the three. He buries it from three. Anthony's got himself on the board with a three there. Oh, what a great option he gives them on every possession. 
Rose finds Barrett. Outside Fournier. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second personal. Second team foul. Evan Fournier. At the line, two shots. And he makes a first. And the Knicks making a change here. Noel's checked in. Fournier hits them both. About a minute played here in the second half. Here's Suggs. Pass to Lopez. Here's Suggs. Four on the clock. Over Fournier. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Suggs has gone one of five from the field. Randall, the pass to Rose. Outside Fournier. Randall on the screen. To the inside. And it's Randall with the jam. Randall with massive improvement over last year. He can beat you in so many ways that he has confidence in now. What a flood. Now here's Lopez. Nerlens Noel picks up the foul. Nerlens Noel. That's his first foul. That's his first personal. First team foul. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. There's a screen. It's Anthony on the take. Noel is an active defender and right now annoying some of the shot selection from the opponent. All right, time for an injury report. Let's check in with Allie LaForce for an injury update on Mitchell Robinson. Allie? Guys, I was able to talk with the head athletic trainer of the Knicks about his status. He shared with me that it's a sprain to the elbow. They've got plenty of ice on it right now to hopefully keep the inflammation down. For a team just out of the gate this season trying to establish chemistry, already they've hit some adversity, guys. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him. And now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. He looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. Back to Anthony. Second shot opportunity, Lopez. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Now just a two-point Nick lead. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Inside, here's Noel. He lays it up and banks it in. Great to have Noel active like that, proving how dangerous he can be on the inside. 38, 34. Here's Suggs, Fournier covering. Harder on the wing. Pass to Suggs. Clock at four. Some solid defense from Barrett. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Back to Anthony. Carter, the pass to Lopez. Here's Suggs. Pass to Wagner. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Barrett. For New York, they've got just two of six in the second half. Here's Rose. Outside Fournier. Now Noel. 
Noel the screen. Here's Rose. No good on the shot. Now Orlando takes it the other way. I'll tell you what. We know he's been struggling tonight, but his teammates have pitched in big time. Anthony misses. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Here's Randall. Counted. Good. Randall's got his second basket of the night. The lefty floater from Randall. A bit funky from the big man, but a nice soft touch there. Who wants a t-shirt? All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on and get loud for your next city dancer. here for New York. Gibson's checked in for Noel. Burks comes in for Barrett. Quickly is checked in for Fournier. And it's Walker in for Rose. The Magic have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Pass to Isaac. Shoots over Randall. No good off the back of the rim. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Left side Burks. Kicks it to quickly. Randall on the screen. With the floater. And it's quickly with a miss. Orlando has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Some super impressive stuff from quickly in the first year playing in the NBA, just getting up to speed. That didn't seem to be much of a problem. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be Isaac shooting. It's on Alec Burks. You know, watching quickly, many of the moves he flashed in college transferred well to the NBA. And the one thing that stuck out and a lot of people were talking about was last year, Emmanuel's ability to hit that floater on the move. One shot. That free throw good from Isaac. The Knicks with the lead. Outside Walker. Randall with the drive. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Hampton. Pass to Isaac. Down low. Here's Bamba. Banked it in off the glass. And now just a one-point Nick lead. Well, any possession that ends in a shot from that range after good player and ball movement, that's a good one. Outside Walker. Screen by Gibson. Shoots off the step back. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Just five to shoot. For three, Randall. Orlando grabs the miss. 
Okiki's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Hampton. Pass to Ross. Back to Hampton. For the lead! Oh, no good! Had a chance to take the lead! Randall inside. Okiki's there. Walker's shot is off. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. Back to Isaac. Pass to Hampton. Bamba inside. Checked by Randall. Here's Hampton. The rebound by Burks. Burks has got his fifth rebound in this one. Now here's Walker. Here's Randall. Outside Walker. Randall on the screen. A shot to stop the drought! And it's Okiki with a rebound. Two minutes remaining. Okiki's got six Two rebounds minutes. here tonight. Ross against Quickly. There's a screen by Okiki. Here's Ross. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Outside Walker. Pass to Quickly. And here's Gibson. Outside Walker. From downtown. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Palma's got four rebounds now. Here's Hampton. Back to Isaac, to the paint. Here's Bamba, and he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. They were totally in sync on that play. Targeted the pass beautifully. It's T-shirt Bonanza. Make some noise. Your next city dancer. New York. Harris has checked in for Orlando. Anthony comes in for Hampton. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Walker against Anthony. Looking to end the drought. Oh, rejected by Isaac. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And the Magic making a change here. Wagner's checked in. A minute four left in the third quarter. Randall on the screen. It's quickly with a drive. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Quickly against Isaac. Pass to Anthony. Now 
Bamba. Isaac, right side. Six to shoot. Over quickly. Off the left rim and out. New York trailing. Walker with it. Isaac covering. Nice move. Count the basket and the foul. They'll pin that one on Jonathan Isaac. And the contact not bothering Walker there at all. Jonathan Clearly Isaac. one of the more focused His players in the game. 13 foul. Kendall Walker at the line. Oh, one shot. Throw good, Walker. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Anthony against Walker. Pass to Wagner. Screen by Bamba. And it's Wagner off the drive. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Outside Burks. Here's Toppin. It's Walker on the wing. Launches a three. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. It's the Knicks up by two. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And we take a listen in now to Tom Thibodeau on a recent huddle. Make sure we're talking on defense. Make sure we're talking. Everyone get down. We've got to be more active. We've got to make some hustle plays. Trace the ball, read the ball, move on the fly to the ball. Everybody talk. We need some hustle plays. Now wanting his guys to be more aggressive, Coach Thibodeau. Yeah, they're just demanding that they be better in every area of the game right now. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Toppin plays the four with Randall in its center. Fournier the two, Barrett at the small forward, and it's Rose in at the point guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Here's Rose. The Magic making their last shot. To the middle. Here's Randall. The shot is good, and the assist by Rose. Rose has got three assists now in this one. 45. 43. Anthony against Rose. To the inside. Here's Carter, and he sinks the 11 footer. Jr. A skilled big man with a developing oh, jumper. Anthony. Carter Jr. continues to show what he's capable of. So much potential with that young man. Now here's Rose. Misses from close range. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Here's Wagner, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Pass to Rose. Outside Fournier. And here is Barrett. Into the lane. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. And you love that. Just that quick first step. And RJ up and over the D. The Magic have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. To the left side wing. Anthony in the post, guarded by Rose. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Pass to Randall. Here's Rose. He's guarded by Anthony. Rose, the pass to Randall. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Knicks lead by two. Yeah, Randall's not passing that one up. Fantastic job at converting when he's got the kind of position like that. Here's Anthony. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second personal. They'll pin that one on Julius Randall. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. 
They've been penetrating two, with two. a certain amount of ease, guys, just as much in this half as the first. The other thing they've done is had penetrating passes inside, in the interior, plenty of points in the paint. And the first one at the line is good. Lopez, he's checked in for Orlando. Anthony drops them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Rose, the pass to Randall. The shot is good, and the assist by Rose. Rose has got his fourth assist with that last one. Orlando trailing here. Pass to Wagner. To the paint. Here's Lopez, opening close, and he drops it in. Well, recognizing the size mismatch and then turns it into an easy basket there. They've got to do a better job with defensive help. Now here's Randall. Now here's Fournier. Randall can't hit. Here's Suggs. And he banks in the layup. And the Magic lead by two. For New York, they've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Randall a screen on Anthony. Here's Rose. The shot misses. Oh, nice D from Carter. For Orlando, they've gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. To the wing, right side. And so the ball out of bounds. Fournier touched it last. Here's Carter. Four on the clock. The three from Suggs. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. Here's Suggs. Takes it inside. That one goes in. And here in the fourth, he's been zeroed in, hitting some big-time buckets. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Magic. I like how they've taken the high-percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. The other impressive part about their offense tonight has been their ability to get inside the off the bounce. Lots of points in there. One shot. And really strong at the line since the break. New York trailing. Rose outside. Pass to Fournier. And that's going to be a travel. And he's done a good job of keeping control of the ball. Even with that turnover, you can tell his teammates trust him to hang on to the pill. Anthony with it. Here's Suggs. Some solid defense from Barrett. The Knicks have gone 5 of 8 from the field so far in the 4th. Rose penetrating over Wagner. That one a little long. The Magic have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Here's Suggs. Uses the glass on the layup. Suggs has got seven points for the quarter. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Here's Rose. And he makes it. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. 
for Orlando. They've gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Pass to Lopez. Back to Anthony. Five on the clock. He's off on that one. Some solid defense from Barrett. Randall outside. Orlando foul. Cole Anthony. Well, he's checked in for New York. Burks comes in for Rose. Bomba's checked in for Orlando. Timeout, New York. Which loudest section wants a t-shirt? Your Knicks City Dancer. in for Noel. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey guys, over the last break I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team and with every possession being critical, he was clear with his team. Quote, this is what we prepared for. Keep your focus, stay in the moment and execute. He believes that's the path to victory, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. It's a three-point game. Burks finds Randall. Just five on the clock. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Here's Suggs. Here he goes. That's bucket number five. He's five for 12 now. A slow start for him, but making amends here in the second half. Burks passes to Randall. And here is Barrett. Up top, Gibson. Here's Fournier. Back to Gibson. Randall outside. Outside Fournier. From deep. The rebound by Carter. The Magic have gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Here's Suggs. Fournier covering. Pass to Bamba. Right wing. Ooh, stolen by Fournier. Now here's Barrett. Outside Fournier. Gibson with it. And here is Burks. Magic Cole Time called here. That's the Knicks decide to talk it over. Second Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that Time needs out. to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not Let's playing their best. Your Knicks City Dancer.
Clock at six. From deep. Burke's no good. I understand why he took the shot. They need the points, but that's just not a good look. Half to the outside. Two remaining in the game. Two minutes. Screen by Bamba. Here's the floater. Anthony misses. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. It's intercepted. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Up top, Randall. He's guarded by Anthony. Randall outside. Fournier for three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Randall's got his fourth assist with that last one. And the coaching staff enjoying that as Randall is becoming a bit more of a facilitator. Magic timeout call. T-shirt time! Your Knicks City Dancer! Twenty-five left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Suggs. Carter, a screen on Fournier. Here's Suggs. Got a hand on it. That's just a good, solid, instinctual play there from Randall. And he recovers it. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. This is third person. Third team. Randell Carter Jr. At the line. Two shots. Shooting two. Good on the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. free throws here and it's a four-point ball game perfect from the line it's now a two possession game Randall with it now Carter defending Randall can't hit well a lot of players in the league are gonna make that shot and for him it's pretty much automatic it's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup now here's Bamba the layup off target Fournier the pass to Randall Magic with it. The lead is two. 32 seconds left to play in the fourth. Carter, a screen on Fournier. Suggs. Can't get it to drop. Fournier with some nice D. 
They can't go empty on any of their possessions from here on out. Can't come away empty. That would be the nail in the coffin. Randall finds Burks. Randall right side. Six on the shot clock. It's Barrett on the wing to take the lead. Off target from downtown. So it's the Magic taking the W in a close one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Jonathan Isaac.